All right, so um, we got a few more things to do business wise, right? You got to pay your bills at the first of the month. Okay. And all your major bills, right? Got the electric bills, the. Right. I don't know. Mm hmm. So, um, got to clean up the house this afternoon, right? Got some bags around the house, right? Need to get rid of, right? But they're not filled with food or drink. I didn't drink it all. <laughs> no, silly, silly. Now, it might have the wrapper, but the wrapper don't necessarily have food in it, right? It contained the food, but I ate pretty much all the food. Now, if I eat Whopper or something once in a while for Burger King, right? The way I do that is I eat like two meals that day. One for breakfast, one for lunch, right? And I try to spread out the calories, right? So that I'm not eating as many calories, even though I'm eating what's called technically fattening food, right? I just eat two meals that right. <laughs> not all day long, not three meals of it, right? Just two, just two. <laughs> so I'm cutting back on a third meal, right? Of it too, right? So that still lessens the calories, even if it's like something for McDonald's or Burger King. I also got food, of course, in the fridge I can eat as an alternative, and sometimes I'll find a day to do that, right? <laughs> and just do that, right? Now, today, <laughs> we're reading from the Song of Solomon, <laughs> and today we're going to read from the King James Version, and the reason for that is I'm showing you why Sometimes they differ, right? And why they read differently, right? And that's because you're interpreting it from another language, right? For one, for one. And what happens there is the people who wrote it are called Hebrew or Jewish people. Mm -hmm. Now, like anyone, even they might can misinterpret a word or two, but you got to learn a passage or a sentence, right, in sentence structure, right, to speak anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the thing about some languages is they, when you translate them through English, are written in a different format even, right? Than English itself, right? For example, English is written right to left, right? Well, mm -hmm. some languages are, are read the reverse way, left to right, right? And Hebrew is one of them, right? <laughs> now, I think Chinese is read up and down or something like that, or Japanese, one of them, right? Or Korean, one of them is read up and down, right? <laughs> Even again, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but basically, right, that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about the Song of Solomon is sometimes the Christians try to not realize what it is, right? Or they try to apply it to Jesus and the church. Well, even then, if you listen to some of the wording, right, and this is why I'm reading it to you, <laughs> it still sounds like a girl talking to her boyfriend, right, more than anything else. Listen, the song of songs, which is Solomon's, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, right? Now, mm -hmm. The Gnostics talks of Mary Magdalene kissing Jesus, right? See, that's what I mean, right? Women are only kissing men. <laughs> They're in a what? Lift relationship. Especially in Judaism in the first century, right? You can only kiss one person, right? And usually that's your what? Lady's husband, husband, <laughs> You're not supposed to even kiss another man, right? 
or vice versa with the man, you're not supposed to kiss another woman. Or you're committing adultery on that woman. Right. <laughs> it's adultery for you also, <laughs> men, <laughs> to be with another woman. <laughs> Do you forget that? <laughs> Or it don't matter because she's got to carry the baby for nine months and you need to have sex with someone sometimes and she might not feel like it. I know. After you get her pregnant, asshole. <laughs> I know. But what about a hand job from her, huh? huh? There's other things you can do and I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> Ladies, ladies. Because of the Savior... Of thy good ointments, thy name is in. Oh, I'm sorry, is as ointment poured forth. Therefore, do the virgins love thee? <laughs> now, this is probably Alma in the Hebrew, <laughs> meaning a woman who has not had sex yet, or who has not betrothed to marry, right? Mm -hmm. In a Jewish lifestyle setting, right? These are rules, not necessarily for everybody, <laughs> but specifically written by Moses for his Hebrew people <laughs> to follow them the best they can, right? See, some people don't realize, right, if you punish someone for breaking the law, and yet you're not faithful in it yourself, right, you're punishing them and yourself at the same time, right? That's also why if you condemn somebody, right, you're condemning yourself, right? And if you even think about it, or you look upon a woman to lust after her in your heart, and you condemn the sin of adultery, you've done committed adultery in your heart. Mm -hmm. Now that don't mean if you are finding women attractive, you're automatically sinning either. Or you're taking the condemnation, which she's trying to get you to stop doing, and making even thinking of a woman a sin. Hear what the Savior is trying to say in the Greek language written by his disciples to you, who are dealing with political problems of the day, too. <laughs> And may have to edit <laughs> to make sure it survives till today, right? Now, we don't know 100% if people didn't add to the Bible certain things, right? Paul, one minute, is praising, for instance, Timothy's mother and grandmother. <laughs> but in chapter 2, he sounded like the most Male chauvinist pig on the planet. <laughs> I know, I know. A woman should not usurp authority over a man. <laughs> I would have her be in silence. That's male chauvinism, baby. <laughs> and maybe that's what he really means. <laughs> Men, he's showing you that spat. <laughs> when Deborah and Holdai <laughs> both taught men and led men in the war. Mm -hmm. So listen, not with colonel ears, men, because <laughs> you are press. Women, you know. not women oppressed of this. <laughs> now, even with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, 
You know who the bigger star is of the two, Johnny. You know what I mean? But again, she can't hit him, but nor can he force her, even if they're married, to have sex, Johnny. <laughs> That's still rape. <laughs> so again, whatever's going on here, I don't know. I'm not blaming you. I'm not saying nothing. And that will be behind closed doors, right? But when we get behind closed doors, right? And that can go good or bad. <laughs> I don't know. And no one knows what goes on behind closed doors, right? At all, at all. Only you two know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't try to get into it. <laughs> Unless I hear you arguing outside or something and have to shut you up. Because <laughs> you're waking me up. Mm -hmm. Won't shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Look, not the... Um, look, <clears throat> I'm not there yet. <laughs> Alright, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Draw me. We will run after... The the king. The I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a punctuation mark there. Mm -hmm. That's a colon. Okay. So that means I stop there. Mm -hmm. The king hath brought me into his chamber. <laughs> Some could say bedroom. Some say closet. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thy name is in. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> we will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. <laughs> The upright love thee. Mm -hmm. I am black, but comely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Now, some say, mm -hmm. the word N-I-G-G-E-R, and I have to spell it instead of saying it. Right? And I'm spelling it because I know the word too. Right? And even a rap star, though he's uh, called by Another race, the N I G G E R word. Unless he agrees to it, he shouldn't use it, should he? No. No. <laughs> Do you agree you were an N I G G E R and want to use it on yourself? <laughs> That's called the pot calling the kettle black easily, too. <laughs> no, that phrase means. Right. I don't know either, right? Are they both black or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, skin tone has to do with environment, too, right? Africa has always been a hot nation, right? But around it are cooler nations, right? right? So you might have dark skin out of Africa, light skin out of other countries because of climates. <laughs> <Hoo -hoo. laughs> Even the Aborigines in Australia... <laughs> A different continent, halfway around the world, <laughs> look dark skinned <laughs> and African like, huh? <laughs> that should tell you something. Mm -hmm. It don't mean they're dark skinned because <laughs> of simply genetics, <laughs> it's called adaptation to your environment. If you got two people from similar conditions, sorry. Looking the same and are separated by miles, do you think it's the condition they're both living in that makes them have dark skin? Right? Or they're just of two different races? But if we're all one people from one mother and father, <laughs> Jesus himself included in all that. Right. So, right. <laughs> Who do you think is the mother and father of us all? All. The all. The all. Ain't that what it kind of means? Hiya, Asher, Hiya. 
I am all, <laughs> the all, that all y'all. <laughs> He's the all that is the all. <laughs> the all, the all. <laughs> <laughs> Yahuwah <laughs> sounds good to me for the divine name <laughs> my fellow Hebrews right? though I may not be Hebrew or Arabic fully I don't know right? I'm kind of meat from Europe <laughs> who knows what I am see if you're Jewish though right? <laughs> and you married into my family or not right it's not that gene pool that really shows up. Mm -hmm. It's the last two, right? And then you quarter the grandparents, right? And maybe the great grandparents might show up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 1% African, right? Nigerian around that area. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Arabic and Espanol. So that means I'm a little Latin, a little black, and a little Arabic. Right? <laughs> but it barely shows up, I guess. To combine this, how many percent? About three. Oh, three. <laughs> Sound familiar? Three. The number three. <laughs> right. The rest is mixed European, including Italy, Greece, France, Germany, England, and Ireland. Right? <laughs> the main ones, right? <laughs> so I'm eight or nine different nationalities to begin with myself, right? <laughs> Just off the top of my head, right? <laughs> that I know has been verified through a DNA source, right? <laughs> Namely 23andMe and Ancestry.com, right? So, 23 and me seems more sure I'm African, Spanish, and Arabic <laughs> than ancestor you did, right? They couldn't quite pinpoint it, right? Mm -hmm. That fine too, right? So, 23 and me was a little bit more sure of what I was, right? But anyway, mm -hmm. let's get back to it. Mm hmm. Look not upon me because I am black. Mm -hmm. Because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. Mm -hmm. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. Which means she's out in the light. Hot sun all day. Hot sun all day. Mm -hmm. But mine own vineyard. Have I not kept? Mm -hmm. uh -oh, what does that mean? Like, kind of weird. Uh, like, talking about vineyards and being out there, but then she said about not keeping her own. Right? What does she mean? Right? I don't know. Right? But it is a she. Listen. Right? Tell me, O oh thou, whom my soul loves or loveth. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't understand the THs in the Hebrew, or I mean the King James Version, what they have to do with is the Hebrew will sometimes end with a TH or an OWTH, right? With a Vav and a Tav, right? Mm -hmm. What that usually means is it's plural. Mm -hmm. Now, I think they're a little bat D. <laughs> with the word bath or bat, right? One could be singular, one plural. One could also be a single T or a double T, right? They don't know anymore. They lost some of their translation, right? Themselves, maybe. No biggie. If you did, no biggie. If you didn't, right? We don't know. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You double the D <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> like David mm -hmm. is the Bob D right? or Dalit Bob Dalit. Right? 
<laughs> do you get it? Right. <laughs> but it's a single D, not a double D. <laughs> but the word Shad Thai, right. which is part of El's name, right. El Shaddai, right. is based off of the word for female breast. Right. And it has a double D. <laughs> Which is also a bra size <laughs> for the boobies. Right? <laughs> and Christ has best toys, which is interpreted by some as paps. Paps is the old English word. Mm -hmm. And you have to go to the old English to find this out, not the new. Right? Might mean something different by now. Right? It means female breast too. Or the breast of any second mammal that's female. It also applies to other mammals and, uh, that also draws forth the breast to suckle their young, including the Leviathan, whatever the hell that is, as mentioned by Jeremiah, the writer of Lamentations, or whoever wrote it for him, right? The prophet Jeremiah, speaking of the Leviathan, who also gives forth its breast to its offspring, right? Now, some use the word serpent there. That's why I said serpent, right? Some don't. <laughs> Some use a different word, right? But if I'm saying that, I read it somewhere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just a different possible interpretation of the word. Now, the thing is, most reptiles, though, don't have what glands? Memory. Memory. And, uh, but they still produce eggs for their offspring. And the male serpent, right, lizard, whatever you want to call it, even the dinosaurs, has to have some kind of phallus-like thing right, on its body to reproduce with another snake or serpent, right, mm -hmm. or lizard, right. Now, some female lizards, though, can, according to the heat, right, Produce male or female as well. Mm -hmm. By laying the eggs in a cooler part, the baby may become a female. Mm -hmm. But in a warmer part, it may become a male or vice versa. I just heard about it. Mm -hmm. Not even sure about the research into it. Some lizards don't need a male. <laughs> but there again are lizards, right? Though we have a triune brain, right? Three hemispheres, reptilian brain, some other kind of brain, and some other kind of brain. <laughs> I forgot the other G, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just heard about it right? recently. Right? <laughs> Dealing with threes again. <clears throat> By the maker of all beings, right? Now, it's your reptilian brain mm -hmm. that makes you seek out nourishment, warmth, cold, Lukewarmness sometimes, right? Even, even. Lukewarm ain't always bad <laughs> or good or good. It depends on what you're doing. Now, if you're drinking water, <laughs> which Latacea had water, <laughs> and they could give you hot or cold water. <laughs> but if the water became lukewarm, it could make you vomit or sick. Have you ever heard that about Latacea? <laughs> I did when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't know that, but I do, right? It's okay. <laughs> we don't know everything. <laughs> Nobody does. Nobody does. Not even me. Everything, right? I'm just learning certain things like everybody else. No better or worse. Trying to find a life, right? <laughs> Do you want a husband? I don't judge you because you're not Hebrew, right? They can't have a husband. <laughs> Moses called it an abomination for them to do so. <laughs> so they can't do that. They'll get in trouble with Moses. <laughs> or Satan. I don't know who. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care what you do behind closed doors either, but don't try to force me if I don't want to do it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> get the point? Right. Even if you feel like you have to do it with me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. 
If you want to, you can't. Right. Obviously, I can't stop you from doing that, but <laughs> I can tell you Moses said that. <laughs> Paul said this. <laughs> and you can get with this or you can get with that. <laughs> but you can get with this but that as well as that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> tell me, O oh, thou whom my soul loves. Where thou feedest, where thy makest thy flock to rest at noon. For why should I be as one that turneth aside by the flock of thy companions. If thou know me, know not, O thou fairest among women, go thy way forth by the footsteps of the flock and feed thy kids, which is another word for goats, Besides the shepherd's tent, I have compared thee, O oh my love, to a company of horses in Pharaoh's chariots. Thy cheats are comely with rows of jewels. Thy neck with chains of gold, we will make thee borders of gold with studs of silver, mm -hmm. while the king uh. Sorry, I'm trying to Understand the word. I think it sitteth. A little unusual there. At the, his table. There we go. That makes sense. My spite nard, which is some kind of spice, sitteth forth the smell thereof. A bundle of myrrh is my well beloved right unto me he shall lie all night between my breasts right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now what she mean by all this though? is it her talking is it the man talking right because it, it mentions women right or woman right right women right Thorough, thorough. That's either my sheen or it shows. <laughs> Both be possibly it shows or my sheen. Right. <clears throat> but some of the prophets didn't do a show, right? Or a sheen even. So they do this weird word, my sheen. Which is kind of applying to two things. The burnt offering and a female and a female and they think something happened with one of the judge's daughters named Jephthah mm -hmm. who vowed to the Lord that he would offer in a burnt offering right. the first thing that met him right. when he came home right. but he also did not think that it would be his own daughter right. And when she met him with joy for returning from the battle, idiot he was, he told her he had vowed a vow to the Lord to offer in a burnt offering the first thing that met him at the door. Mm -hmm. That's called what though? Short-sightedness. Short-sightedness. 
butthole he is. I know. Was and will always be. Because someone knows what clearly happened to the poor girl. Right. And is this an example of what not to do? Right. Or that you're supposed to do it too? Right. If you make a vow. Right. Which is more important? Murdering your daughter to her offering? <laughs> when he forbids that, even with Isaac. Right. So you can offer up your daughters in place of your sons? No. No. He's testing you. Right. The writer, mm -hmm. and not necessarily Jeff to himself, being that he was a man of his day, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is making a point by the story. Right. It could be a moral story of what to do if you make a vow like that mm -hmm. and your daughter beats you. Right. And what should you do? Right. Sacrifice her in a burnt offering or what? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, another possibility they hint at could be that she never married. Right. And stayed a virgin and he never had any children by anyone. Right. And died. And she died. Without leaving offspring. Which is another way I heard you can, might can interpret it. But either way. Right. It's pride. To do an evil vow. <laughs> when the Lord says thou shalt not kill. Nor offer your sons or daughters. To the fire of Molech. Which was done by the Philistines allegedly. Right. People around them. And God told them, don't do that. Right. So even Jephthah cannot break the law of God over a vow. Right. Do you understand what I mean? Right. I do not tell you to do something stupid, saith the Lord. Do I? <laughs> do I say, do something dumb and smart at the same time? Do I say make yourself a Nazi moron? A brilliant idiot? <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you're a brilliant idiot, what you gonna do if the first logical thing that meets her dad coming back from battle right. is his own daughter? <laughs> do you sacrifice her in a burnt offering? Or do you realize that Satan and not the Lord. Hello? If someone is picking up sticks on the Sabbath day, do you even need to go to the Lord? Because, you know, picking up sticks is a big deal. Right. It's the day of rest. Let's go to the Lord and see what we should do with him. The Lord say, stone him. And they stone him. Or so says the scripture right, about it. <laughs> or, like with the disciples plucking corn on the Sabbath day. Right. Who also should have been stoned. Right. By the way, by the way. If you're taking that literally, which is why the Pharisees and Sadducees getting all mad <laughs> with it. No, no. They're doing something on the Sabbath day that's unlawful. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it comes for you? <laughs> they coming for them, right? They coming to take him away. Ha ha. They coming to take him away. He -ha. Right. <laughs> not because he's trying to do that wrong. He's not. Right. But they are. They are. They're looking for a fault. It's easy to point the finger when you weren't even there. Mm -hmm. But when you weren't there, the only one who was there was the even herself. Right. And if she's accusing me by now, she's not acting like a good mother, right? She's acting like a bad mother, right? 
And no woman wants to be called a bad mother, even if they are one. I don't mean she didn't make a mistake herself, and I'm not trying to let that go. But there's still only so much a logical man can do with a child, too. And, uh, if he does, his wife is next door. The most he can do is logical things, right? Not illogical things, which is how she's thinking if she lets the four-year-old even come in there to me, right? Not me, I you don't know, thinking it logically yet. <laughs> I right, can handle that. <laughs> even if she can't handle it. <laughs> what I might have to do. Right? Now, in coming up with what I might have to do, I've changed my sister. I dressed my sister. I helped her with bathing and changing her diaper. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with a four-year-old. <laughs> I wasn't around my sister until she was seven and I joined the Navy hunt, right? What Daphne talking about? Only people who raised her daughter was her mother and father, right? Only people she was around was them, right? And then her dad and then me. There's only two males or three males in her life and the rest are females, of course. Right? Her mother, her aunt, in my life <laughs> at the time. Right. Now my ex. Right. Again, right. I'm trying to move on from all that. Someone wants to rehash it who might not have even been there, who has a carnal mind about it, who I would wonder would make a good parent themselves. Because right. they don't know when to say, okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm taking this too far. <laughs> He's been answering me for 15 years and I won't get over it, right? And I still don't know what's really fully going on, right? Especially at night. And, uh, especially when I go to sleep, right? I wake up with the TV on the different channel. <laughs> that I didn't put it on the night before, right? There's a problem there, right? I don't know why I would change the channel unless someone came by unexpectedly. <laughs> Before I woke up the next morning. And when I woke up though. Right, the channel was changed. But the person was still not here. Right? Which means they also left. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> but I also let them go back home. Right? Wherever they came from. Right? I didn't resist them. I didn't give them a problem. Right? I was nice to them. And talked to them about it. Right? Whatever reason they came by. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You won't let me remember the conversation if we did anything or not, right? Now, even if I go into a bathroom to talk to somebody, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> you don't know we really did anything or not. And I'm not saying we didn't or did. I don't remember. But if I ask her her age and she says 37 and we get in the bathroom and she tells me she's 15, it ain't going to happen, right? Even if we're in the bathroom together making sounds like we are having sex, <laughs> it don't mean we really did or did. I don't remember now. Because of you. Because of you. Knowing we did. <laughs> but like the Virgin Mary, do I even have to have sex with her if the Lord wants her to get pregnant by me? Not really. Not really. <laughs> but yet, really, you yeah, hit. Really. <laughs> yet, yeah, not really and really. Not really and really. <laughs> It's God who can change all that. Not me and not her. Unless it don't bother her and she's okay with it. <laughs> of course, like the Virgin Mary, <laughs> who was asked by Gabriel, <laughs> or told, in a way, <laughs> that she would have Jesus to begin with. Right? Now, whoever this Gabriel person was, or B was, right, whether the angel Gabriel himself, which Zechariah saw the same being, right? And he's in the temple when he does that, right? <laughs> so are both Mary and Zechariah having the vision of the same being? Seems like, right? And he tells them both two different things. One about his wife and future son and one about Mary's so, <laughs> And she says, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, which the Catholics quote often, right? 
All they're doing is quoting what Mary said to Gabriel, idiot. <laughs> it's not a sin. <laughs> mm -hmm. To quote that scripture over and over again, but it doesn't help, though. <laughs> if you don't truly understand Mary's role in all that, <laughs> is she's the sir 